in the news for October 14th, 2013. Well, as you know, they're getting ready to do what is called a martial law drill on the East Coast. I kid you not. There's a lot of sources from the military, the Navy, and all that I have spoken with, and other friends that I know of who don't want to be on tape, saying they're going to have a rollout of martial law starting in November uh, for a certain amount of time. Uh, don't know where it's going to be, but it's going to be along the East Coast of the United States. Also, as a bunch of people getting fired in key positions, not just in the Army, but in the Navy, in the Marines, in the Air Force, and even in Homeland, and even in uh, the NSA, even in the co even in, in police forces too. These are people that are constitutionalists, or sir, or or they are, or they are conservatives, or they are patriots, or they or they may and they're considered a risk group, so they're getting fired because of their beliefs or points of view. Hey, by the way, if you want to raise money on sites like Kickstarter, if you are a religious group or a patriot group or anything like that that's deemed, they won't allow you to raise money on on a fundraiser site such as Kickstarter because they consider you a risk. So, or they consider you like a demon. They didn't want they they wanted to depose you. But yet other people can raise money on there, but Christian conservative groups or patriots or veteran groups, which I think is uh, really absurd. Saturday, this past weekend, last Saturday, the EBT cards went down for about about a day. And so many people were freaking out at many grocery stores across the nation. There have been some riots. As a matter of fact, one of the... One of, one of the cards were saying no bounds, and in some areas it was saying they had unlimited bounds. And so people were just grabbing things in hordes and throwing whatever they could get in several carts to try to take it out of the store, you know, you know, Walmart or wherever they shop. It was just mayhem. And there was even some people getting into fights and all <clears throat> at some stores too because their EPT because their EBT cards would not work or operate. However, they said it glitched. It was due to a, some type of massive network computer glitch. Or could this be a test to see what could happen if they tried to pull this stunt nationwide? Not just in a few states, but do it not just for a day, but do this for several weeks? Uh, we don't know. But we're thinking there may be something more behind this than just a mere coincidence or outage because it's never happened like this before. And it happened, they say, 17 states, but a lot of all states say they were affected by this outage, even though the news only reports 17. Anyway, <clears throat> stock up on food and water and iodine. Make sure it's selenoline iodine, because that's better quality of iodine, to detox you of the fluoride and the radiational effects that are in your food, in your body. You can pick up these... Uh, pills from infowarsstore.com they have a special deal going on there that you might want to go there to check out at, at alex jones's infowarsstore.com site you get a good deal on that iodine it's better than the other kind because the, the weaker lower grade has s some traces of uh, uh radiation in it or it has some, or it just does not do just as good of a job because of other things that are in it also, it's confirmed that they were putting cancer and other viruses in your vaccines. So like we've been telling you, your kids need to get vaccines. You need to go to the school and get what is called a waiver. You need to go to the school and go to the nurse there and ask them to waive, to get a waiver so your children don't get anachronized, knock immunizations against their will. <coughs> also... They're not allowing kids to play ball, freeze tag, football, basketball, sports that you can play without a helmet. Now they're taking that out of most schools across America. Is this not tyranny or what? This is insane. You know, when we were kids, we could play these sports. What is wrong with this country? What is wrong with this government and this administration? Why are they doing this? You know? We need to stand up and wake up, keep our eyes open. Don't give in to this tyranny. Don't get scared. If you're on welfare, 
get with people who are not on welfare, form a support uh, community network grid in your community, start growing aquatic gardens in your homes, you know, in basements or on back interior enclosures so they're not detected by drones or satellites. And be able to uh, grow your own food and have your own meat in the event of a natural disaster or a martial state where they shut everything down. Like I said, on the East Coast, I don't know exactly where, they're going to have a martial, a martial state law rollout on the East Coast. I repeat, this is no joke. Starting in November, I don't know how long this will go on, but if you haven't got food and basic supplies, you need to get them. Uh, because I don't know if it's going to be here in Virginia or in D.C. or north of D.C. Sources tell me it will be either in Georgia and New York is where this may take place. Uh, because I've seen some data showing. I don't think it's going to be here in Virginia because we have too much uh, government stuff here and things. And I think we're on a grid where we won't we won't be spared. However, if you're in the city, there may be experiences with problems with resources. If you're in the countryside... You're in better, you're better condition because you're nearer to military installations and so forth. <clears throat> Stock up on food and filtered water or bottled water. Make sure it's free of, make sure it's free of any kind of uh, fillers or anything. And make sure the water that you have hasn't been sitting somewhere for over a year because water can spoil and can go bad and can taste plastic, plastic, plasticky. And you don't want to drink water that tastes like plastic because that means the water could be toxic. And you drink it to your body because you get some of the plastic chemicals that are in the plastic in the bottle from it sitting. So if you have water that tastes sort of like that, you need to throw it away and get you some fresh water. Because it's sitting too long or the water you have bought a couple months ago, go out to the store and pick up some bottled water or filtered water and make your own filtered water and change it out every every three months with, and replace it with new filtered water. Okay? That's a recommendation from the Army manual on survival also get you some uh get you some food that all it requires is water in case you don't have electricity or a bunch of canned food you know salmon tuna fish uh, ham chicken you know all that stuff and i'll uh, get you some uh, colonial silver uh because depending on where you are in these zones where they're going to roll out the martial law and do the drill where they take all you take all the power and everything off line you are going to need this stuff especially in those areas so you stock up i don't want to cause panic but this is the truth i say sources could be in could be in north carolina georgia or new york city virginia isn't listed but however it does not mean that we won't have this happen come in november uh it's very important to watch the news and keep abreast of what's going on even if the power does go off listen to reliable sources don't lose your cool Stay alert, stay alert, stay alert. Always think before you react and before you act. And always and try to help people, but don't try to do it at the expense of compromising your own health and well-being. If you have more than enough, give, uh, give sparingly. But make sure you have plenty of rations on hand for yourself and your family. That's so important. So this is in the news for October 15, 14th, sorry, 2013. It's Michael De Silva signing off for De Silva's media channel, the Freedom Network, on YouTube and beyond. See you later. Have a good night. Make sure to subscribe down below. And I'll see you tomorrow and hit you up with another update. Bye for now.